Hey guys, Josh here. Quick announcement. As you may probably know, the 2D movement series will be come to end very soon. But we have got a new and exciting series coming up with some more free assets. So for more updates on the new series, hit that subscribe button or follow us on Twitter and Facebook. And that's pretty much it. Hope you guys found today's video helpful and I'll talk to you guys later. Hello, my name is Joshua Mutu and welcome to Pixelmate. In our last videos, we created our wheel and tread animations. And then, with a C-sharp script, we linked those animations to our character's movement. Links to those videos will be on screen and in the description below. Just a quick reminder, the end result of this series will look something like this. Where you can move left and right with animations, you can jump, you could also aim the cannon up and down, as well as shooting the bullets in the direction of the camera. Also, when the bullets come in contact with the ground, they explode. The animation was created by another member of the team. In today's video, we're going to be creating our aim mechanic by creating separate animations for each of our cannon aim sprites, and then connecting all those animations using a blend tree. We are then going to use a C sharp script to link that blend tree to our vertical controls. The difficulty of today's video is the fluffy difficulty, so it won't be that hard to do. The assets we will be using in today's video will be available to download for free. The link will be in the description below. So, just like our previous video, we're going to be using the animation tab. If you don't have this open, you can go to Windows and Animation. You can also use the shortcut Control 6. So what we're going to be doing is creating an animation for each of our Canon AIM sprites. So I'm going to move our animation tab so we can access our assets folder. Before we start creating our animations, I'm going to go into our animations folder and create a new folder. So right click create folder and I'm going to call this Canon AIM Anim. And the reason behind this is so we can keep our Canon AIM animations all together. So to create our animation I'm going to select our tank object and then click create. So I'm going to go to our assets folder, go to animation, canon aim and I'm going to save this animation as canon, oops, canon aim anim down underscore zero one and the reason behind that is if we go to our canon aim sprites folder the first frame is canon aim anim down one so to add the sprite we could go to add properties sprite renderer and sprite but because we don't need the current sprite in our animation I'm just going to click and drag the first frame into our animation and there we go it's changed our sprite so what I'm going to do now is click our spawn point object and move it to the end of our cannon so I'm going to zoom in a bit here and then I'm going to go into the inspector and rotate it so the x-axis which is the red arrow is pointing in the same direction as the cannon so to create another animation, you click where it says the name of the animation uh, and then you click create new clip. So it's currently gone to our Canon AIM folder. I'm going to select our first animation and then change it to 0, 2. Then what I'm going to do is select the second sprite and drag that into our animation. Then I'm going to select this spawn point and again move it to the end of the cannon and then rotate it to point in the direction of the cannon. So I'm going to be repeating this until I've done all 27 sprites. So what I've done is created the down animations, uh, the idle animation and the up animation. With the idle animation what I've done is uh, copied and pasted in the X position, Y position and the Z rotation of the spawn point so that it would, be, it would create a uh, keyframe on the animation. 
So now that we've done our animations, what we're going to be doing is using the animator tab. Uh, what the animator tab does is it accesses the it accesses the animator component of the object. If you don't have the animator tab open, you can go to Window and Animator. So I'm just going to dock our animation tab next to our console. And in our animator tab, what I'm going to do is select every animation and delete it. Don't worry, it doesn't permanently delete the animation. It just removes the animation of the animator. So what, what I'm going to do next is create a blend tree. And to do that, I'm going to right click, go to create state and from new blend tree. Select, I'm going to select our blend tree and rename it to Canon Aim Blend Tree. Oh. I'm going to double click it to open it up. And what we need to do, I'm going to, have, I'm going to select our blend tree and add 27 motion fields to our blend tree. And to do that, you click the plus symbol and you click add motion field. So I'm going to do this 27 times. So now that I've created our motion fields, uh, what I'm going to do is go to our animations folder, our Canon aim folder and click and drag every single animation onto our blend tree. So I'm going to click the first one, drag it into the Dropbox and do it for every single one. So as you can see, I've created too many motion fields. So I'm going to select the last one, scroll down, uh, and then click the minus. And that's gone and removed it off our blend tree. So now that we've added our animations to our blend tree, we can test it out by clicking and dragging the slider on the blend tree left and right. So what I want is the idle animations threshold to be zero. So I'm going to set the minimum threshold to minus 100 and the maximum threshold to 100. So what I want to do is create a parameter to link this threshold to. So I'm going to go to our parameters uh, menu in our animator tab. I'm going to delete this uh, parameter and then create a new one and I'm going to create a float parameter and I'm going to call this aim. Then I'm going to go back to our inspector, having our blend tree selected, and change the parameter that we want it to be to aim. So now that we've done that, all we need to do now is create a C -sharp script to link this blend tree to our vertical controls. So I'm going to go to back to our assets folder, go into our scripts folder, then right click, create C -sharp script, and I'm going to call this uh, Canon aim underscore animation so I'm going to open that up get rid of all this and the first thing you will create is a animator variable so animator and I'm going to call this anim and we use a semicolon and then to access our animator component, we need to uh, use the start function. So void start brackets curly brackets, and inside that we need to we need to say that anim is equal to uh, get component less than and greater than symbols, and inside that we type animator. Then we do brackets and semicolon. 
So what I'm going to do next is create three public floats. So public float, and I'm going to call this one blend idle. And that's going to equal to zero. And the second public float I'm going to create is called uh, blend speed. So public float blend speed. And that's going to equal to 3.0f. And finally, the last one is going to be blend max. So public float blend max. And that's going to equal to 100.0f. So the blend idle float, I'm going to be linking to our aim float that we created in our blender tree. So this one here. Uh, the blend speed is how much it's going to increase and decrease. And our blend max is going to be our maximum and minimum uh, threshold on our blend tree. So, so minus 100 and 100. So what I'm going to do next is access the fixed update function. So void fixed update brackets, curly brackets. So the first thing I'm going to create is our input button. So float aim with a lowercase a is equal to input dot get to axis brackets quotations and we want to use the vertical axis next we've got a cell aim float to be equal to our blend idle so anim dot set float brackets quotations and the uh, and we want to access the aim float and then we use a comma and we want to set it to our blend idle. So next I'm going to create an if statement for when aim is less than zero and when aim is uh, greater than zero. So if brackets aim is less than zero, we want to again set our float. So anim dot set float brackets quotations aim comma blend idle and we want to use minus equals blend speed so what this is is it it's a more simpler way of writing blend idle is equal to blend idle uh, minus blend speed which means that it's a more efficient way of writing code so what I'm going to do is copy this if statement paste it in and all we're going to do is change this to plus equals uh, blend speed and then and then we want to see if aim is greater than zero. So, so I'm going to save that there. So control S, go back to Unity, uh, go to our scene, zoom out a bit, uh, select our tank, and then click and drag our cannon aim at script onto our tank. There we go. So if we run the game, and whilst keeping an eye on our uh, blend idle, if I continue to hold up, you'll see that uh, blend idle will exceed 100. And we don't want that. So if I go back to our script, and what I want to do is create another if statement to set blend idle to 100 when it goes greater than 100, and then set it to minus 100 when it goes below minus 100. So if brackets blend idle is less than uh, minus blend max, we want to set blend idle 
to equal minus blend max. Then I'm going to copy that same if statement and then paste it in underneath and then change it to if blend idle is greater than blend max, we want to set blend idle to blend max. So I'm going to save that, go back to Unity, click play. Now if I hold the up button, blend idle now lo no longer exceeds 100. So that's all we've got for today's video. Feel free to tune back next time where we will be animating our explosion. Also, don't forget, if you want updates on the new series, hit that subscribe button or follow us on Twitter and Facebook uh, for more updates on the new upcoming series. If you found today's video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos on Unity 3D. My name is Joshua Mutu, and thanks for watching. Thank you.